I'm recording now, just so you know. All right, so our objective is to paint our daisy and make it look realistic. So I have myself a few small colors, small amounts of colors to begin painting one of my daisies. So I am going to just start by mixing those colors together. I wanna to start by making it look somewhat pink. And I wanted to have a little bit of an orange tinge to it, a bit of orange tinge. Notice that when I use my paintbrush, I'm not getting paint on this metal part. Did you know that you're supposed to, when you mix colors, you're supposed to keep the paint only on the bristles. So remember that when it's your turn. Now I'm gonna give my daisy a bit of an orange tinge to it. And I just added a little bit of yellow. And now I'm gonna apply the paint. What if when you're applying your paint, there's an area that's hard for you to get to? Well, I want you to make sure that you, if you need a different brush, a smaller brush, all you have to do is ask. It is critical when you are painting that you get every single bit. So for right now, what you can see me doing is what's going to be obvious to you, painting the front. Guess what? The back is just as important. The back of your petals are also going to be painted. So what you're going to be doing is just getting yourself started with a basic color and getting it on the front and the back. The very bottom does not have to be painted, but I'm going to paint mine anyways. Just remember that if you set it down and the paint is wet, it's going to stick to your surface. So be mindful of that. For right now, I'm gonna paint my flower one color. I'm not gonna paint my seed pod yet, not yet. Just the petals on the front and on the back. I tell you what, let's go ahead and start now.